normally here you have your title block either attached as xref or drawn directly in this dwg file but since this is just an example i'm gonna have a blank space let's dive in and draw a revision box if i zoom in slightly press l on my keyboard and press spacebar for a line draw a line 5.5 millimeters up and 105 millimeters to the right i'm going to press escape a couple of times i'm going to select this line press co on my keyboard and press spacebar for copy i'm going to copy it to the right by 10 mil just to add a section for revision number i'm going to press escape a couple of times select this line press co and press spacebar for copy copy it to the right by 50 mil to add a section to add a section for a description press escape a couple of times select this line press co spacebar copy it to the right to add a section for drawn by whom do the same with this one copy it to the right by 10 mil to add a section for checked by whom and finally i'm going to select this line press co on my keyboard press spacebar and copy it to the right by 25 mil to add a section for date i'm going to press escape a couple of times now i want to copy it eight times up so i could have nine revisions overall you can create as many revisions as you wish i'm going to select all the lines press co and press spacebar on my keyboard for copy and copy it eight times up press escape a couple of times just like so the next step would be to create attribute definitions for my revision box so if i go to the insert tab block definition panel and hit the define attributes command attribute definition window pops up i'm gonna leave mode and insertion point sections as default type ref1 in the tag and prompt and prompt sections change just justification to middle center hit the ok button and position it in the center of the left hand side box section just like so the next step would be to copy this attribute in each of these sections so if i select it press co and press spacebar for a copy i'm going to press f8 for ortho and copy it four times just like so press escape a couple of times next i want to change this attribute to description one so if i select it and here in the properties dialog box i'm going to change it to description one then copy it to prompt section and as well as that I want to change justification to middle left I'm gonna press M on my keyboard and press space bar for move move it slightly to the left just like so next I want to change this one to this attribute to drawn drawn one this one to checked one and finally this one to date one i'm going to leave justifications justification of these attributes as middle sensor so if i just double click on this one change change to drone one control c control v okay press escape a couple of times double click on this attribute change it change it to checked one 
Control V, Control C. Okay. Press Escape a couple of times. Double click on this attribute. Change it to date one. Control C, Control V. Okay. Press Escape a couple of times. I now want to copy all this attribute attributes eight times up. So if I select this attribute, press C O and press spacebar for copy and copy it eight times up. I'm gonna press F3 for object snap. Press escape a couple of times. The next thing I wanna do is change this to revision two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And as well as that, I want to change description, drawn, checked, date to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So if you double click, change to ref2, to this one to description2, to double click. Drawn to, drawn to, double click on this one, change to, checked to, and finally date, change to date to, and to date to. Okay. I'm gonna press escape a couple of times, and in the same manner, I'm gonna change all of this to, as I said, to revision 3, 4, etc. Once that has been done, I want to turn this into a block. So if I select it all, go to Insert tab, Block Definition Panel, and hit the Create Block command. I'm gonna call it Revision Box. I'm gonna specify the base point. Leave the rest of the settings as default and hit the OK button twice. Just like so. This is not a dynamic block, this is just a block. If I select it, and here in the properties dialog box, I've got all my attributes. I can fill them in, but it's pretty much useless. Let's keep it selected and go to Insert tab, Block Definition Panel and hit the block editor command. Edit block definition window pops up. Make sure that the relevant block is checked, is selected, and hit the OK button. I want to insert this visibility parameter and place it here in the left bottom corner. Once I've placed it, I've got these extra options here in the visibility panel. So if I hit this visibility states command and create nine revision visibility states, I'm gonna rename this one to ref1, control a, control c to copy, create a new one, change it to two, ref3, four, Five. Ref six. Ref seven. I'm gonna rename it to Ref seven, not Ref seventeen. Create a new one, Ref eight, and finally Ref nine. And here I've got nine revision visibility states and finally i'm gonna hit the ok button next i want to associate the visibility states i just created with relevant attributes and revision lines so if i change this to revision one press this make invisible button and hide everything from revision 2 to revision 9. Press spacebar. 
and then I'm going to change to revision to try to this make invisible button and hide everything from revision 3 to revision 9 spacebar so the logic is clear Just like so. Let's do a quick test. Revision 1, revision 2, all ok. Revision 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All good. Let's say you've hidden something by accident. Just imagine I've hidden this revision 9 in the revision 9 visibility state, but I need to see it. So I've got two options. I can either select this button, which is a visibility mode. It reveals hidden elements. Then press this make a visible button. Select everything I need to unhide. Press spacebar. Or Another option would be, again, if, I, if I've hidden this by accident, I'm gonna press this button again. Again, if I've hidden something by accident, another option, the second option would be to press this make visible button straight away, which also reveals hidden elements. And select everything you need to unhide and press spacebar, just like so. Once that's done, I'm gonna hit this close block editor button. Save changes to revision box. And here we go. My revision box is a dynamic block. So let's test it. If you would like to change this visibility parameter location, you can go back to block editor and move it wherever you like, just like so, and then hit the close block editor button, save the changes, and here I go. I'm gonna press escape a couple of times. Again, let's test it. I'm gonna select this revision box, choose ref1, and I'm gonna fill in this uh, attribute. It's gonna be revision1, for tender drawn by VM checked by PW and the date is today's date and if I change this notice if I change this to ref2 you can see that revision 1 is shifted down so it's out of the way. So in the same manner you can fill in this revision to attributes. So revision to for tender drawn by VM checked by PW and doesn't matter. Let's put today's date again. And finally if you don't like the order of the attributes, you can change it. Let me show you what I mean. If I select this dynamic block, change it to ref1, and here let's say I want to have ref1 at the top, then followed by description1, then by drawn1, then by checked1, and finally by date1. So what I can do is I can select this dynamic block, go to insert tab, block definition panel and hit the manage attributes command 
I make sure that correct block is selected from this drop down menu which is revision box scroll down until I find revision one so I, I select it I move it up then I move up description one just below the ref one then I move drawn one and finally checked one revision one description one drawn check date correct I'm gonna hit the OK button again if I select it in this way it's more convenient now so I've got ref one description one drawn one checked one and date one I'm gonna press escape a couple of times